quite getting used to you driving me around. <laughs> Don't get too used to it. You thought it was a tight spot. Yeah, but I knew I was going to get in there. No, I, I really uh, admire your, your driving skills, like for real. <laughs> we haven't been here, this part of town, in a little while. Oh, I have. Just you haven't. I came without you. These seats are pretty cool. Yeah, but where's my seat? <laughs> Over there. I can't believe we've been married for almost 18 years. Great. <laughs> One of the things that drew me to this guy was the sense of humor. Waiter for me. That's pretty evil. I've known him for a long time. How long have we known each other? I don't know, since we were teens, I think. He was always the guy at church that just gave me a hard time. Let's just say that he was like the last guy <laughs> that I thought I would date, let alone marry. But you know what? Crazy he made man. me laugh. He made me laugh all the time. We don't take each other very seriously. Or we don't take ourselves seriously. If you don't know us personally, you may come across in some of uh, our videos that I'm a jerk. <laughs> I'm a I'm a jerk to, to flow. I can't believe you're making me do this, but I'm sick. You gotta speak up. I don't care if you're sick. <laughs> Why is she married to such a well, not such a nice guy? But Flo is such a, a good sport, and she's just a, a just a natural target for <laughs> my sense of humor. But believe me, folks, it comes out sometimes. Doesn't come out regularly, but. She can deliver a devastating zinger when she wants to. That leaves me speechless. speechless. <laughs> I think another thing that makes our marriage work is that we talk to each other a lot. As you might know, we're, we're freelancers, so we work from home. And that means we wake up, we see each other, and we're mostly together working on projects and on this channel. We communicate with each other a lot. And there are times when even when we're in bed and we're talking as if we haven't talked enough all day long. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing. It's kind of gross. <laughs> Throughout the course of our marriage, we've had a lot of career changes and I guess different career paths based on what we've been passionate about or what we've been called to do. And I think it's really important that as a spouse, I am encouraging and supportive of everything that he does and he is the same way with me. We have to maintain that support for one another and sometimes mm -hmm. you know we got to say that uh it's not that easy no because there's a lot of factors to consider right just to give you an example dude used to commute about an hour and a half each way to and from work and when he got home let me tell you he was not someone pleasant to be around <laughs> thanks for your brutal honesty <laughs> If it's a, a career choice where he's going to do something that he's passionate about and that he loves to do, I totally choose that over um, a six-figure income and a grumpy husband. That's just my choice. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know you're getting too old for that, right? <laughs> I could have broken an ankle. <laughs> On camera, we often show our best side. And I'd be the first to admit that our marriage isn't all unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> no. 
And when we fight, we both want to win. Yeah, we want to go for the win. So we're going to go for the jugular. When the emotions are high, we put each other on blast and there's not much of a filter. We have certain ground rules that we follow or we try to follow. We have a no couch policy. Right from the very beginning of our marriage, there was a rule that if we were fighting, we still had to climb into the same bed to sleep. That has worked really well for us. Trying to sleep next to someone that you are angry with is really hard to do. Even if we can get through one night of sleeping angry, the next morning, more often than not, we apologize and we're quick to forgive. In the Bible, it talks about not letting the sun go down on your anger. Mm -hmm. and. That's what we try to do, ideally. Uh, in practice, it's a little bit more challenging to do that. But having that in mind is that we do our best to not hold that anger in, hold a grudge. And I think more importantly is to not just to sweep it under the rug, sweep the issue under the rug and not deal with it. Mm -hmm. like, it's, like it's not there if you don't look at it. It's, it doesn't exist, mm -hmm. well, it's there, and it's gonna crop up again and again. We don't want to have those recurring themes come up in our, in our fights, because it's, 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 you know, you're just spinning your wheels. Something that we've been trying to get across to the kids even is that we ought to be quick to ask for forgiveness and to offer that forgiveness, and for there to be as little barrier between those two as possible, and those things go a long ways. Mm -hmm. Say something nice. When we were first married, I think the dude was super appalled that I didn't want to pray with him. I was, I was quite hurt actually. As Christians, we, uh, we pray a lot and I was quite content doing that on my own because I had all those years by myself. And then we got married. So every night and since that conversation, we pray together uh, just as we do with the kids every single night. But we do believe that a couple that prays together stays together. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. So now, on that note, we have to get the kids. <laughs> we always have to get the kids. Yeah. All right. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful. Whoosh.